Chapter 2. Write this letter to the angel of the church of Ephesus. This is the message from the one who holds the seven stars in his right hand, the one who walks among the seven gold lampstands. I know all the things you do. I have seen your hard work and your patient endurance. I know you don't tolerate evil people. You have examined the claims of those who say they are apostles but are not. You have discovered they are liars. You have patiently suffered for me without quitting. But I have this complaint against you. You don't love me or each other as you did at first. Look how far you have fallen from your first love. Turn back to me again and work as you did at first. If you don't, I will come and remove your lampstand from its place among the churches. But there is this about you that is good. You hate the deeds of the immoral Nicolaitans, just as I do. Anyone who is willing to hear should listen to the Spirit and understand what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Everyone who is victorious will eat from the tree of life in the paradise of God. Write this letter to the angel of the church in Smyrna. This is the message from the one who is the first and the last, who died and is alive. I know about your suffering and your poverty, but you are rich. I know the slander of those opposing you. They say they are Jews, but they really aren't, because theirs is a synagogue of Satan. Don't be afraid of what you are about to suffer. The devil will throw some of you into prison and put you to the test. You will be persecuted for ten days. Remain faithful, even when facing death, and I will give you the crown of life. Anyone who is willing to hear should listen to the Spirit, and understand what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Whoever is victorious will not be hurt by the second death. Write this letter to the angel of the church of Pergamum. This is the message from the one who has a sharp two-edged sword. I know that you live in the city where that great throne of Satan is located, and yet you have remained loyal to me, and you refuse to deny me even when Antipas, my faithful witness, was martyred among you by Satan's followers. And yet I have a few complaints against you. You tolerate some among you who are like Balaam, who showed Balak how to trip up the people of Israel. He taught them to worship idols by eating food offered to idols, and by committing sexual sin. In the same way you have some Nicolaitans among you, people who follow the same teaching and commit the same sins. Repent, or I will come to you suddenly and fight against them with the sword of my mouth. Anyone who is willing to hear should listen to the Spirit and understand what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Everyone who is victorious will eat of the manna that has been hidden away in heaven. And I will give to each one a white stone, and on the stone will be engraved a new name that no one knows except the one who receives it. Write this letter to the angel of the church of Thyatira. This is the message from the Son of God, whose eyes are bright like flames of fire, whose feet are like polished bronze. I know all the things you do, your love, your faith, your service, and your patient endurance. I can see your constant improvement in all these things, but I have this complaint against you. You are permitting that woman, that Jezebel who calls herself a prophet, to lead my servants astray. She is encouraging them to worship idols, eat food offered to idols, and commit sexual sin. I gave her time to repent, but she would not turn away from her immorality. Therefore I will throw her upon a sickbed, and she will suffer greatly with all who commit adultery with her, unless they turn away from all their evil deeds. I will strike her children dead, and all the churches will know that I am the one who searches out the thoughts and intentions of every person, and I will give to each of you whatever you deserve. But I also have a message for the rest of you in Thyatira who have not followed this false teaching, deeper truths as they call them, depths of Satan, really. I will ask nothing more of you except that you hold tightly to what you have until I come. To all who are victorious, who obey me to the very end, I will give authority over all the nations. They will rule the nations with an iron rod and smash them like clay pots. They will have the same authority I received from my Father, and I will also give them the morning star. Anyone who is willing to hear should listen to the Spirit and understand what the Spirit is saying to the churches.